Just a warning, if you do not comply, we will shoot to kill. Fuck me, that's some armor. And look at all the machine guns. Happy now? Is this what you are hoping How for? How is this his fault? You knew everything and never said it. Hold on! 
Now we are not just traitors. We are honest to God enemy saboteurs. Why the wrong face? We are at a crossroads, so to speak, where everybody can help but wonder. What next? Where do we go from here? Hmm, yes. More or less what I expected from you. But you got the picture. So, is your counter functioning? Have you checked it? Yes, it's all green. Double checked it. Stepan's in the green too. We don't need masks here. So, they were telling the truth. Who was telling the truth? Why won't you answer? Who are those people trying to kill us? Why would they shoot at you, the Order's commander? Explain something, at least! You owe us that! Well, I might as well drop the bomb now. The war did not end. What do you uh, mean, what? did not end? Let me finish. Most of our cities are destroyed. The rest of the country is probably under enemy occupation. To avoid new nuclear attacks against us, command chose the only viable course of action. To play dead. To ensure radio silence, the shield system was created. A network of radio jammers covering Moscow and suburbs. So that some radio enthusiasts wouldn't bring more bombs down on our heads by whining on air. Radiation levels are nominal. The air is breathable. But what about the rain? So what? You can't even breathe in Moscow. So? Does anybody live out here? We don't know. How will they treat us? I don't know that either. What would they do if they found out there are survivors in Moscow? Again, I don't know. Do you know we've been lied to? For 20 years, we've been lied to. We know they've been killing people. Collateral damage is inevitable. Wait a moment, what is that? Listen, everyone! So, is this what you had in mind? Yes! This is it! The Ark Project is a whole city underground. Enormous stores, machines, the best experts. It is the Commander General's HQ. All of the country's leaders are there. They have already started the restoration work. We will tell them that Moscow is alive. It wasn't all for nothing. Everything will change. Everything. Do you get it? A new life is starting for all the survivors of the world. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, are there any single women in that place? <laughs> Great reaction. So I think the moment calls for... <clears throat> Bring it out, Demir. Bring what out, Colonel? Sir? That thing that's been sloshing about in your canteen. <laughs> you think I'm deaf or what? Ah, uh, that. Uh, just a moment. I, I thought my ears were deceiving me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a short trip to the Urals, so we should make ourselves comfortable, I guess. Let's name this bucket of bolts at the very least, eh? Huh? It's about time. Let's go around and be done with it. <laughs> nah, go to hell. <laughs> Even better. Oh, come How on. About Aurora, the rolling goddess of dawn and a cruiser of, uh, uh, you know what. That's better. <laughs> Not bad. I like it. Die, beautiful name. Sounds okay, but the cruiser of what? Yeah, I'll tell you later. Looks like it's decided. <laughs> Let's drink to the Hey, Artyom, let's take a look at that map. All right, we had a round. That should be enough. Yermak, full steam ahead. Hi. Full steam ahead. Wow, oh, that's, that's some I distance. I wonder how long it will take. How are you, Alyosha? Are you sure you're okay? Shots fired! 
prepared. Four bogies on a trolley. Are you alright, Artyom? Damn! They pierced the cylinder! How bad is it? Can we move? No, we're stuck! Oh, shit! Damn fog. Seems we ran through someone's roadblock. Who was it? Any uniforms? None. They were wearing rags. Just some old farts. Old farts, huh? That's just the perimeter guard. They could have put anyone there, even women and children. Do you really think we found them, Colonel? Well, we can't be sure. I was expecting to run into them much earlier. The trolley is headed towards the bridge. Some fortifications there. This looks peaceful. A village and a church on the water. We need intel. Here, Artyom. I put a mark on your map. Get there and find out what you can about that bridge. Taking a prisoner would be ideal. Anna, you cover him. Yes, sir. May I go with Artyom too? As backup? No. Until we figure out our situation, you are not to take a step away from the Aurora. These two can handle themselves just fine. Yermak, when can you get the Aurora running again? Yeah, I don't know yet. Go and check on that Let's go, Artyom. A full day at least. I see. Get to it then. Spartans, Spartans prepare the Aurora for the It's a new model. A portable workshop, so to speak. The manual is inside. It doesn't come with crafting materials, though, so keep an eye out for those. Let's move out, Artyom. Just be careful out there. Sure thing. I gotta say, that was one flimsy roadblock. And those guys, well, they didn't look like army men at all. Just old men. Be careful out there. Remember, most of the country has been destroyed or occupied. Even those who speak our language might be enemies, by conviction or out of fear. Got it? Do you hear that bell? We must have given them a good scare. Maybe they served the enemy, enslaved or something. Going down. What was that? There looks like a perfect sniping position. Let's go. Okay, Artyom, I'll climb up there while you take the boat to the church. I'll call you when I'm settled.
can't believe this. I had all but lost hope. We're not from here either. Silantix locked us up here a year ago. Yes, the bridge dwellers won't even talk to heretics. But I'll tell you everything I've seen in this place all that year. Oh, it's the bridge guard. Silantix has fooled them just like the locals. But unlike them, the bridge guard have guns. Run! There's a way out down here and there's a boat at the dock. We also have one, but it's too small for all of us. Artyom, she's right. Get to the boat. We will rescue her later. Don't worry. Go! Nasty and I can get to your train by ourselves. They say that as soon as Father Salentius finished his sermon, there was a flash of hellish light and the heretic just vanished. <laughs> Did they stop our first? No, it's easy. Uh, have you seen the heretic, sister? Of course, I've seen that. Really? Enough to vanish as produced by the heretic? So you have seen it? We will need to oil many in the soil. And you believe them? That makes you know you're covered in water. You must be sick knowledge. So, did you see him or not? I don't get it. I, I'm sorry, we were just looking for him and we. Ah, forget it. Oh. a thing. Maybe I should just let the fish deal with it. Uh, I'll go. Nothing. I'm so tired of running around for nothing. <laughs>
What the fuck was that? A whale? It's fucking huge! The old man sent me out as a forward sentry, told me that I was to sit tight and under no circumstances look for any action. So I just had a front row seat watching you there. And so you subdued occupation forces peacefully with a holy cross and a prayer. <laughs> Anna has already reported on the cult. <laughs> You're alive! But there is one more question I need to ask. But of course. What do you know of the occupation forces? Huh? I'm sorry, I don't quite get what you... Artyom, you should talk to the colonel first, so then come back here. You've never seen any foreign army in this area. No, I haven't seen any army. But we haven't really been to any important places. I see. Artyom, a moment. Thank you, Artyom. If not for you, we'd never have escaped that place. They were so busy looking for you. And then Anna picked us up. Great job saving them, Artyom. Katya here has provided us with vital information. Now we know for sure that the bridge is in working order. They crossed it last year when they got here. Well, at least some things are clearer now. But still, so many questions. There might not even be any enemy forces around here at all. Gotcha. Gotcha. How do you like the backpack? Is it comfortable? Can you operate stealthily with it? I have a present for you here. A Tihar rifle. Ring any bells? It's pneumatic, but it still pecks a wallop. Plus, making bullets for it is easy as pie, even in the field. Just remember to keep that pressure up. Otherwise, you might as well be spitting him out yourself. Other than that, it will never fail you. I did my best. So, bear it with honor. <laughs> And don't forget to drop by from time to time. I have a few ideas for improving it. So, Katya, where are you uh, from? The Southern Ural. A couple of years ago, we heard there was this great place under Volga, so we made the journey. Who can have known that fanatics were in control now? And they Actually, I don't think a single man from NATO would ever be here.
against them you you just cut through them bleh. well it's pleasure to meet you name's crest by the way are you from the train bet the locals wouldn't even talk to you guys <laughs> open fire right away didn't they <laughs> of course those dumb bastards i've been here long enough to know the drill they have a cult over there the dumbasses are hung up on technology having destroyed the old world so they don't exactly take kindly to smart guys here. And me, well, they were just gonna lock me up until I agreed to go fight those electrical demons of theirs to absolve my sins. Because I was in cahoots with Satan, apparently, blad. <laughs> Some Satanist I am. <laughs> I've been fixing engines and trading all my life. Now, now I'm moving to the east. Blin, I'm sick of this part of country. There's just nothing to do here anymore. The cities are gone. Bandits, beasts all around. Lots of space across the Volga, though. Plenty of opportunity. So, I came here with my rail car full of trading goods, hoping to make a few sales on the way east. What a fool I was. I was lucky to get out alive. <laughs> Anyway, since you've arrived, I've been thinking of this little plan I had, never had a chance to pull off alone, but since you guys are also going east... Now, judging by what I could see with my binoculars, it's a miracle your engine is still running. Oh, by the way, take the binoculars. I'll show you where everything is. Look at the bridge first. See that section on top? It should lower if the emergency mechanism still works. Katya from the church should know better. I've never been to the bridge myself. There, to the right, that huge hangar. That's a terminal, Bli. The cult is considered a holy place. Covered it all in graffiti, schmafiti. Their tsarfish <laughs> live there, you know. Stupid bastards. Even further right, see the building near all those carriages? Used to be a train depot. There are some bandits there now, but the place itself ain't bad. Oh, the area nearby isn't too bad either. There's a good hunting and stuff. I set up several safe camps around there. If you find them, you could rest, fix your equipment. <laughs> Unless you prefer spending nights at an open campfire. Now, come on, let me show you my home now.
No, you could take the zip line down. Just hook up and uh, away you go. Dumb cretins didn't like my light. Yeah, I've been banned from the village and the bridge ever since. Oh, no, we're going to see